Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have another problem here. Uh, this, is, this is more like logical and it's pretty easy to solve it like if you don't really, if you just know basic math. But I want to show you how I approach it and like something that is not very common sense sometimes. So basically we have these two beams. They are simply supported and they are exactly the same except that one is double the length of the other one. So let's say this is 10 feet, this is 20 feet. Just like to give an example. And what they're asking, they're asking, uh, what is what is the bending stress radio due to a changing length? So basically, they're they're asking you how big the moment will be based on increasing the length, even if you have the same conditions. So basically, we have here the moment equation for simple simple supported beams. That is, moment is equal to the load times L squared over eight. And now, what I did uh, for this type of thing, I was I set it up both equal. And then assume a uh, length of 1 for here, and then a uh, length of 1 as well. So 2 times L is going to be 2. And then uh, the, the load was the same, W. So here I have the problem solved. So this is moment A is equal to WL over 8. Moment B is equal to W times 2L to the square to the over 8. These are just a maximum moment formula. You can find them in any structural book or any like, any book, basically, or you should know this. Um, then where, here is what I did, I assume W is equal to 1 and the L is equal to 1. And then after that, I just got the radius. Uh, for this I got 1 8, that, this was my solution for moment, and then this was my solution for moment B. Then I just divided that, like I divided this value over this value to get a radio. And that will tell me how, how different are they and by what, by, by factor, what factor. So 1 point, well, 1 half over 1 8 or 0.5 or 0.125, it gives me a radio of 4. So basically that means that the maximum moment in this beam is 4 times bigger than this one. Just because you double the length, even if all the other conditions stay the same. Uh, this is a really cool problem because even if, if it's not that complex, it, it kind of helps you visualize how, how an increasing length in a, in, in a, in a beam or like or a girder or whatever it will affect your connection. So for example, instead of having like a big girder, you could cut that, that girder into, I don't know, let's say two beams and you will have like way smaller members. So it's really cool to have these kind of fundamentals in your repertoire and just try to remember this type of stuff. A lot of things are common sense, but until you actually do them, it's kind of hard to get a good grasp of how they work. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this type of problems or if you have any problem that you would like me to do, please let me know. Uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel, guys. Have a good one.